Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Colbertson. Hi everyone, Troy Joseph Colbertson. <laughs> <laughs> we have been missing our Galloping the Globe friends um, and we are excited to send you a video of some uh, stuff we're doing today. We are gonna be galloping to Mexico this week. I am sending your parents a link to the a reading of the book that we're doing, which is Borreguita and the Coyote. It's a very fun little uh, Mexican folk tale. And uh, for our artwork that we're gonna be doing, I have something that you can do that, you should have everything to do it at home. We're gonna be doing Mexican tin art. So I'm gonna show you exactly what we need to do that. Um, in the email, I've sent some pictures. You can either color these. These are alabrijo, al alabrijes that from Mexican folklore. And there's a few sheets of the, the different animals here. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to make Mexican tin art and we're going to make like an embossed picture that you guys can color with. So I have two ways that you can do it, um, either by making your own picture or by using the pictures that I sent you. So what you're gonna want to use is, we have regular construction paper. We're not gonna be coloring on this. This is just to kind of put a soft backing on our picture. And then I have regular tin foil that I'm going to fold in half with the dull side out. So I'm gonna kind of fold it to where it's a normal paper size. This is regular nine by 12 construction paper. Stop, stop, stop. And this is our folded up tin foil. And you can see that the dull side is what's on the out, the shiny side is inside. So, all right, so I folded that in half and now I'm gonna put it down on my construction paper. Let me tilt the camera so you guys can see a little better what Troy's gonna do here. Oh, hang on. There we go. Okay, so he's got his paper here. And so now the first one we're gonna do, we're just gonna use these coloring sheets that I sent you guys and I'm gonna let Troy pick an animal that he wants to do. What animal do you wanna do? The little bunny guy, okay. So he's gonna pick this animal right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick, where do you wanna put it on your picture? Cause this is gonna be your picture right here. So we're gonna put it here. Now, if you want, your mom and dad can help you tape the picture on there, or you can just kind of hold it in place. So I'll help you do this one and then you can kind of do the one on your own. So I have a pen and you wanna use a pen because we want like a kind of pointy edge on our writing utensil. And so what we're gonna do is you can see, this is kind of my setup. We have the paper with the picture and then the tin foil behind it and then the construction paper behind it just to give us like a soft pad. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do this first little part. Do you wanna do part of it or do you want me to? I'll do some of it. Okay, here, I'm gonna do this eyeball for, this, for it and then you can do that one. So I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna kind of push hard as I trace around the lines of my picture. Let me just do that a little bit and I'll do, I'll do his head and you can do some of the smaller lines, okay? So we're gonna kind of push That's down. That's a cute line, man. That is a huge no line. No joke. So we're kind of tracing his big ears and then I'm gonna trace this small big ear. Head. Okay, so you can see I didn't stay perfectly in the lines. You can see I kind of went outside the line a little bit. But now when I take this away, you can see that I have my little bunny head started right there. So now Ooh. it's gonna be a little hard since I took part of it off to kind of line it back up. That's why I wouldn't lift it up. You can check if it's going through because it should show through on the back, okay? So let's line that back up again. I think I got it. Okay, so I did this eye and the outside. Do you wanna do the middle of the eye? You wanna do the eye and the nose and stuff? See if you can get some of that. So like I said, if you want to tape it down, it'll make it a little easier so they can kind of work more independently. There you go, mama. Go get the crayons and you can color one. All right, so you did that eye. Can you do his little nose too? And then maybe you can do his body too. So these are kind of fun to trace and they have pretty clear lines on them. So you can kind of trace as much or as little as you want. Okay, so we'll lift it up. And you can see we've got a little more of the bunny face on there too. Oh, whatever it is. Yeah, the little bunny face. So the other thing that you can do is if you don't want to use these pictures, you are welcome to look at the recording of the book that we um, we didn't do it. I'm going to send you someone else's audio that's really good for that. Um, and you can look at some of the pictures or you can even look up some Mexican tin art pictures online. 
Why not use in some words? You could use do words too. So I'm gonna show you, oh, let me get a blank piece of paper. If you use blank, like copy paper, regular printer paper, eight and a half by 11, I'm gonna scoot that up here. Troy, I'm gonna let you draw. Why don't you write your name? He's gonna write his name on here. Oops. That's fine, it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just keep going. Okay, now what about, could you maybe draw like a sun or something? Perfect, okay. So Troy did his little, his name and his son. And we're gonna put this over here. We're gonna do the same thing as we did here, but now he kind of made his own picture. So I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna let him use the pen to trace over the same lines. Now it's okay if the lines aren't exactly the same on your paper, because what we want is we just wanna make sure we're pushing enough to get the lines to go through on our tin foil, okay? So I hope you do get a chance to watch the video of the book. It's a really cute story about a sneaky little sheep and the coyote that wants to eat her. And I know that it's kind of been hard getting food lately, but um, I know some things are in the stores and some things aren't. Can you do your name too, please? But um, I can send a list of some fun little snacks you might be able to find or some things you may have at home because it's Mexico and I know we live in Texas. So a lot of you probably have chips and salsa or hot sauce, things like that, that you can try at home. All right, let's see. Troy son. And then you can see. Oh, let's see, can you see it up there? There you go. Can you, you guys can see, see it, man? Says Troy and his little son. Hi. So you can kind of just play with this method as much as you want. Feel free if you want to just print these out and color them, you can do that That's too. Right. So we really miss meeting all of our friends and we hope to see you guys soon. And, um, I hope you enjoyed the book and uh, the craft, okay? And see you next time. That's right. We'll see y'all later. Bye.